Traveling is more than just going on a trip. Sometimes our adventures help us to rediscover a part of our identity or get to know ourselves better than when we first packed our suitcase. Let's go to Ghana. My name is Kaiser Kobe. She's ODG. Vanessa Canby. Braxton Jones. We are the Grizz family and this is Ghana. This great big story was made possible by the Ghana Tourism Authority. We're from Orange County, California. And last year we sold our home and traveled around the world with our family to 36 countries. There's such an immense amount of history there that we had to experience it for ourselves. The Asin Mansu slave market is located in central Ghana and it was a place where enslaved people were auctioned off and sold. One of your ancestors walked this road. That's how you ended up in America. It was an incredible piece of history. It was sad, but it also gave us a profound appreciation that we are here because of that struggle. Hi, <laughs> Daddy. It's the vibe of the people, the food, and I'm just very glad that our kids got to experience the African part of the world. I'm an Afrobeats artist and someone who's very passionate about making a social change for Africa and its diaspora. I was born in London, but I also grew up in Ghana. My music is always intended to teach people about where I'm from, which is Ghana. Tiena Fest is a festival um, that's running annually in Accra. To me, it was very important that we had a physical ground that you know anybody who loves Afrobeats can come to and enjoy themselves. Music has kind of become a weapon for us to come together and help connect the diasporans, you know. Ghana has the purest people, the purest vibes, um, the best food I've had. To me, Ghana's a special country. I was born and raised in Edinburgh in Scotland, but my dad is from Ghana. I've been going since I was three, so going there literally just feels like going home. So here we are at Black Star Square and this represents the independence of Ghana. If you're there to go and get back to your roots, it's great for that, but it's also great for just like kicking back and relaxing. I have found my ultimate favourite hotel in the whole entire world in Ghana and it's called Lu Moon and it's in Aksim which is about six and a half hours away from Accra. My favourite gallery in Ghana is Gallery 1957 and I love that space there. Ghana is so special in so many ways. The place is just so vibrant. I was born and raised in Maryland and I've been living in Thailand for the past 10 months. I decided to go to Ghana because as an African American, what I do know is many Africans who were forced into slavery actually came from this part of the continent. Elmina Slave Dungeon is a very sobering experience and it's an experience that anyone from the diaspora should go and feel for themselves. We also got a chance to visit Willie Waterfall. Willie Waterfall is the tallest waterfall in Ghana. We spent time in the Accra metropolitan area. It had its own interesting vibe and culture. The biggest highlight in Ghana was its people. They were warm and hospitable. I would suggest anyone, whether you're from the diaspora or not, to go experience for yourself. Hey, I'm Kaiser Kobe and I'm a YouTuber and blogger. I'm Ghanaian and German. I live in the UK. The highlight for me visiting Ghana has to be the food, the family and the culture. My favourite places to go is Chop Bars. A Chop Bar is a restaurant that is normally outside and you just go there, you order authentic Ghanaian food. The Chop Bars I like to go to are always located in Tema. I'm at a Chop Bar and I had a full and light soup with meat. The beach I love to visit when I'm in Ghana is Labadi Beach because it's just so local and it's so nice over there. The ocean is so beautiful and blue. Majority of my family are from Ghana. It's just such a big part of me. It's just something I can't wait to experience with my children. It's just such an amazing country and I'm so happy to be from there. It's important to travel in general just to expand your mind, expand your thoughts and be inspired. It's just such an amazing thing to be able to just go to different countries and experience different people's culture. Travel is important because it gives an individual a chance to experience the world from a different perspective. You get to meet new people 
Um, you get to learn about life. Sometimes you even find yourself. It just widens your horizons, widens your mind and your knowledge, but also seeing how other people live and do things means that you can learn from them.